historians. Do you know a black man without a job? I don't. For the moment we are born, we are given the part-time job as a warrior. Because every day, we will have to fight for our lives. Part-time warriors, but full-time historians. Because the names of our deceased brothers, fathers, sons, cousins, uncles, neighbors, they lay sizzled into our brains and engraved into the doorknob anytime we think to go outside. We see their shadows in the back of every police car that drives by. Their faded smiles in every purse that's clenched as I near. People would social distance to the other side of the street before coronavirus was the excuse. We are historians. We can name every African American who was shot for holding a bag of Skittles, every black man who was brutalized next to a train, every nigga who couldn't breathe as a knee was to get to his fucking neck, every Negro who took 14 bullets to the chest because one to the knee wouldn't suffice. August 5th, 2014. John Crawford III, 22 years old, Dayton, Ohio. September 16, 2016. Terrence Crutcher, 40 years old, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Eric Gardner, Michael Brown Jr., Trayvon, Oscar. Floyd. My first thought when I seen authorities to put my hands where they can see them and my skin where they can't. I am tired that every Black History Month, when I go to write a poem, I have new material to talk about. New parents shielding their daughters. New women looking for a good time and a long length so they can feel like a bad girl. New reasons for the word nigga to be shared like polyamory. New people to tell me, but it's getting better though. Curse from birth to remember every injustice to every soul murdered so often that we started believing black bodies made better fertilizer. We are historians. And the job description is black. 